Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for attending this webinar. I hope you are all doing well. My name is Eftalia, and in this live session, I will share with you a couple of hacks you need to know to save yourself some time and become an Excel stat expert. The webinar will last 30 minutes. I will start with a quick reminder of the Excel stat features and capabilities then present you the Excel set hacks in five main parts, spending around five minutes on each part. At the end, we will have a Q&A session. You can use the pop-up window of the GoToWebinar platform to leave your questions at any time. For those who are new to Excel stat, it is an add-in for data analysis in Microsoft Excel. It works both on Windows and Mac. You can find literally any sort of statistical methods from descriptive statistics to data visualization, data mining, and predictive models. The nice thing about ExcelStat is that it combines a simple click and point interface and fast C++ computations. The first groups of hacks is focused on data preparation. I'm going to show you how to quickly generate random numbers, how to anonymize data, how to define missing values in Excel stat, and finally, how to remove textual data from a quantitative data set. Let's switch to Excel stat and see how it all works. Tip number one, generating random numbers. There may be cases where we need to create random numbers in Excel, for example, to create a list of random numbers and run an analysis or to uh, pick up um, random individuals from uh, a group. An Excel stat allows us to create random data on very few steps you have two options. Either create a, a data sample from a continuous or a discrete theoretical distribution or from an existing sample. I will choose the first option here. ExcelStat offers around 20 theoretical distributions. Let's click on normal. Then I just need to define the number of samples and the size of my sample. I click OK and the random data are displayed on the next tab. Tip number two, anonymizing data. There may be cases where we need to send our Excel files to another department, other colleagues, but our data include confidential information. You can find the anonymization tool in two menus. The first one is the, under preparing data, but also under the magic stick button. So to make this work, I open the data anonymization dialog box. I simply select the data range and go to the options tab and select one of the three methods. I will show you the third one, where it requires to select a mapping table. The mapping table needs to be in two columns, where in each row we have the old code and the new code. For example, I would like to replace male individuals by one, female individuals by one, and the several postal codes by new ones. Then I click on OK and oh, yes, I forgot to select my observation labels. And the anonymized data are then displayed on a separate sheet. Tip number three, defining missing values in Excel stat. So the software by default will consider only an empty cell as missing value. So if I'm going to run um, a simple analysis like descriptive statistics on this data set, Excel stat will not let me do it simply because we haven't yet told Excel stat that NA is also a missing value. And I can do this in the Excel stat options tab. I go to the data tab, and this is where I will select the values. 